Number 10. The Lost City of Atlit Yam. Can you imagine swimming in your favorite sea spot? Then boom, you see an entire city standing on the seabed. The legend of Atlantis has motivated many divers and archaeologists to search for lost cities underwater. While none have found the legendary Atlantis, they have discovered other lost cities of the seas. Back in 1984, deep sea divers looking for shipwrecks discovered the ancient city of Adlit Yam. The prehistoric fishing village drowned 9,000 years ago, likely because of a tsunami or climate change. It remains one of the best preserved submerged settlements in the world. According to the Times of Israel, excavations and surveys conducted between 1985 to 2000 revealed even more. Sea level rise forced the inhabitants of the Neolithic village to abandon their homes several times for higher ground. Studying their technology and artifacts reveals how they coped with a changing climate. Within Atlit Yam, divers found the earliest known constructed fresh water wells with stone walls still intact. Human remains buried at the site also helped archaeologists uncover the earliest known cases of human tuberculosis in the bones of a mother and a baby. This discovery showed scientists that the disease is 3,000 years older than previously speculated. Scientists believe that the inhabitants of Atlit Yam abandoned it suddenly because of a tsunami hitting the region, probably caused by a volcanic eruption in the Mediterranean area. Large piles of fish discovered at the site appear to support their theory. Number 9. 50-pound mammoth leg bone. In May 2021, two scuba divers made a gigantic discovery of prehistoric proportions. In Florida's Peace River, embedded in the sand, they found a 4-foot, 50-pound mammoth leg bone. The once-in-a-lifetime discovery could date back as far as the Ice Age. The well-mineralized bone was almost entirely undamaged. It came from a Colombian mammoth. This type of mammoth was the largest of its kind. Paleontologists estimate that the animal stood 14 feet tall and weighed about the same amount as five cars stacked on top of each other. Their tusks reached wider than two bicycles laid end-to-end. -end. Mammoths, the ancestors of modern-day elephants, went extinct about 11,000 years ago. Incredibly, the divers found something even rarer the next day, a tooth from a saber tooth tiger. Colombian mammoths lived in Florida between 2.6 million and 10,000 years ago, the same time as saber-toothed tigers. Along with the mammoth leg bone, the pair also found fossilized megalodon shark teeth, fish teeth, stingray spines, scallop shells, barnacles, pieces of the mammoth jaw, and vertebra, among others. Number 8. Giant Coral Reef Scientists discovered a 1,600-foot-tall coral reef taller than the Empire State Building, the Sydney Tower, and the Petronas Twin Towers in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. This was announced by scientists in the Schmidt Ocean Institute in October 2020. It was the first such find in over 120 years. The group live-streamed their reef exploration using an underwater robot to examine it. Offshore and separate from the rest of the reef system, the gigantic limestone tower emerges from the deep seabed and acts as a substrate for coral and sea life to grow and flourish. Nearly a third of a mile tall, the structure rises to within 130 feet of the ocean's surface. Researchers described the reef as blade-like. They said it measures nearly one mile wide, then rises 1,640 feet at its greatest height. By comparison, the Empire State Building stands 1,250 feet on the top floor. They've mapped seven other tall detached reefs in the area that have existed since the late 1800s, including the reef at Rain Island, which is an important nesting spot for green sea turtles. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef, covering 133,000 square miles. It includes 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, 300 coral caves, and about 150 mangrove islands. The reef is home to over 1,625 species of fish, 600 types of coral, 133 varieties of sharks and rays, over 30 species of whales and dolphins, and hundreds of other species. Number 7. The Ulu Burun Shipwreck What would you do if you bumped into tons of valuable minerals stacked under the sea? Well, I don't know what I'd do, but some divers knew what they would do. The Ulu Burun Shipwreck was found accidentally by a sponge diver in 1982 off the southwestern coast of Turkey. They discovered a vessel made of cedar dating from the 14th century BC, which is one of the world's oldest sea-going ships. Aboard the ship, among other cargo, were 10 tons of copper, Egyptian jewelry, ivory, and the oldest intact glass ingots and an Italian sword. The discovery has allowed historians to learn more about trade in the Mediterranean. The diverse cargo on board shows that the Mediterranean was the site of a lot more trading than initially thought. Such is the wealth of knowledge gained from the ship that Scientific American voted it one of the 10 greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. They recovered it over 10 years in three-month-long periods of excavations. It was the deepest ship fully recovered at the time. It took a staggering 22,413 dives to bring up the entire Ulu Burun. Today, they house the wreckage in the Bodrum Museum in southern Turkey. On a scale of 1 to 10, how badly would you want to visit the museum and lay your hands on this historical piece of art? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 6. Two cars sunk for 40 years with dead bodies inside. 
In September 2013, police divers testing new sonar equipment in an Oklahoma lake discovered two cars that had been underwater for 40 years. They initially concluded that someone had stolen the cars, then simply dumped them in a lake. But when they opened the cars, a darker and more mysterious reason for their presence came to light. Each car held three skeletons. They believed the bodies inside one car, a 1969 Chevy Camaro, belonged to three teenagers who were last seen over 40 years ago. Jimmy Allen Williams, 16 who owned the car, and his 18-year-old friends Thomas Michael Rios and Leah Gale Johnson. They had supposedly been heading to a football game the night they disappeared. They believed the second car, a 1950 Chevy, to have had the bodies of three missing adults who were also last seen over 40 years ago. Nora Duncan, 58, her friend Alvy Porter, 69, and their friend Cleburne Hammock. It'll take a few years for forensic experts to identify the skeletons with complete certainty, but after 40 years, the find gives tantalizing hope for closure to the families of those missing. Do you think it was a case of cold-blooded murder or a mere accident? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Number 5. Japan's Record-Breaking Submarine they discovered a massive I-400 class submarine in August 2013, deeply seated 2,300 feet underwater off the coast of Hawaii. The I-400 was a huge Japanese submarine from World War II, designed to hold three seaplane bombers that could strike at areas beyond the range of regular planes. The Japanese had plans for a fleet of 18 subs that could have potentially launched strikes against American cities, but these plans never came to fruition, and they built only three. They didn't even use these as intended. They used them to carry fuel to islands in the Pacific. At 400 feet long, the I-400s were the world's largest submarines with a range of 37,500 miles. We did not beat them in size or range until American nuclear submarines in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The American Navy captured an I-400 near the end of the war and spent considerable resources studying the submarine's secrets. After a request from the Soviets to study the I-400 in 1946, the Americans hit it with three torpedoes and sent it back to the ocean's depths so the Soviets wouldn't learn from it. Number 4. 2,000-year-old intact Roman eye medicinal pill. In June 2013, a team of Italian scientists conducted a chemical analysis on some ancient Roman medicinal pills discovered in the Relito del Posino, a 2,000-year-old submerged shipping vessel that sank off the coast of Tuscany, revealing what exactly the ancient Romans used as medicine. The Roman shipwreck lay near the remains of the Etruscan city of Populonia, which at the time the ship foundered was a key port along sea trade routes between the west and east across the Mediterranean Sea. The archaeological superintendency of Tuscany Relito excavated the Del Pacino throughout the 80s and 90s, revealing a variety of fascinating cargo including lamps originating in Asian Minor, Syrian-Palestinian glass bowls, bronze jugs, ceramic vessels for carrying wine, and of particular interest to the remains of a medicine chest containing a surgery hook, a mortar, 136 wooden drug vials, and several cylindrical tin vessels, one of which had five circular medicinal tablets. The tin vessels had remained completely sealed, which kept the pills dry providing an amazing opportunity to find out exactly what substances they contained within them. The results revealed the pills contained several zinc compounds as well as iron oxide, starch, beeswax, pine resin, and other plant-derived materials. Based on their shape and composition, scientists have suggested that they used the tablets as a type of eye medicine. Number 3. 1,000-year-old Lion City under Chinese Lake Archaeologists were stunned at discovering an ancient city deep beneath an artificial lake in China described as the country's own Atlantis. The legend of the sunken city of Atlantis is a universal tale. Mentioned in ancient texts throughout history, it has been more recently fictionalized in books and films. Its story was told in two of Plato's dialogues, written about 360 BC. While many refuse to believe that Atlantis is fiction, they have found no evidence of its existence. However, they may yet find solace in China's ancient and lost under water civilization, the Lion City. Despite the city being submerged for centuries, the city remains fully intact. They carried the forced flooding out as part of the Chinese government's Great Leap Forward program, making way for the country's first hydropower plant. They created a beautiful landscape and a waterway containing over 1,000 islands. It sits at the bottom of the reservoir close to Chandao Lake, near the picturesque Wuxi Mountain. They are thought to have built it somewhere between 25 and 200 AD. The city was at one point one of China's most powerful and kept this status for centuries. In 2014, after the authorities realized the city was still intact, they allowed tourists to visit the area by diving. Much of the architecture in the lake dates to the 16th century and is one of the gems of Chinese craftsmanship.
Its existing city walls also date from this period. Among the notable landmarks are its wide streets and 265 archways. The Lion City, or Shi Cheng, reached its zenith between 1368 and 1644 when the Ming Dynasty ruled China. Its opulence is unmistakable. There are five entry gates with an area of 62 football fields with six major streets paved with stones, all connected to each other. Despite holding clues to China's rich historical and cultural past, they flooded the Lion City in 1959. At the flick of a switch, they slowly submerged the metropolis. At its deepest point, it now sits 130 feet below the surface. History buffs and diving enthusiasts alike can now visit the city themselves. Don't be afraid to be one of them. Number 2. Elongated Human Skulls Discovered in a Mexican Cave A flooded sinkhole in southern Mexico that terrified local villagers was explored in 2014 by underwater archaeologists who found the submerged cavern littered with elongated skulls and human bones. The underwater cavern known as Sac Uayum is a cenote in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. A cenote is a natural pit resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater underneath. The ancient Maya sometimes used them for sacrificial offerings. Sakuwayum sits just outside the ruins of the ancient Maya city of Mayapan, about 25 miles south of Merida, the capital of the Mexican state of Yucatan. Mayapan was a major political center from the 12th to the 15th century AD and contained a city enclosed by a stone wall. Within the city walls, there were around 40 cenotes, which would have served as vital sources of water for the 17,000 residents believed to have lived there. However, Sakuwayum is not a typical cenote, and local legends say that a feathered, horse-headed serpent guarded the mysterious cavern. Older residents of the nearby village tell stories of people seeing the serpent perching in a tree, leaping up, spinning around three times, and diving into the water. The villagers do not want to go near the site, and there's much fear surrounding what lies inside. To investigate the cenote, archaeologists spent two weeks diving into its submerged reaches. They discovered two chambers connected via a tunnel in the submerged cavern with bones scattered across the floors. Shockingly, the bones and skulls the researchers discovered aren't normal. They're elongated, which is consistent with many others found in burials from the same period. They have found the skulls and remains to belong to males and females, adults and teenagers. But the question that remains unanswered is what were they doing there? They buried most residents of Mayapan under or near their houses, so this was not an ordinary cemetery. Researchers believe that they might have buried the dead here to await the next cycle of creation. Do you think that was the case? Let us know in the comments below. Number 1. A Fish with a See-Through Skull In late 2021, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, MBARI, shared footage of the barrel eye fish. This deep-sea creature has a transparent forehead where you can see its glowing green eyes. The barrel eye fish is rarely spotted. According to MBARI, despite 5,600 dives and over 27,600 hours of video recordings by advanced remotely operated vehicles, marine scientists could only encounter the fish nine times. The MBARI website records they found this six-inch-long fish at a depth of 2,000 to 2,600 feet, where the sunlight cannot penetrate. In 2009, researchers found barrel eye fish can rotate its eyes towards the front to see its food when eating. Which shocking discovery did you like best? Let me know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more amazing videos right here on American Eye.